We acknowledge the traditional owners of this land, the Bunurong people, and pay respect to their elders, past and present. We recognize and respect their continuing connections to climate, culture, country, and waters. One of the oldest buildings in Dandenong, St. James Anglican Church has brought inspiration and heart to the Heritage Hill Precinct for over 150 years. The church has a strong architectural legacy as well as serving as a record of the changing spiritual identity of the community it has served. It was also an integral part of the lives of the families who called neighboring Laurel Lodge and Benga home. Dandenong's early Anglican church services were held in the humble surrounds of a slab hut and a local hotel. On 1st June 1855, the Dean of Melbourne, Dr. McCartney, and lay preacher, Mr. J. Goodwin, visited Dandenong to discuss a permanent premises for a church and Sunday school. In July, they applied for land to establish a school, and later that month, a site had been reserved on the corner of Langhorne and Wilson Streets. The following year, a brick building was constructed. Facing Wilson Street, it served as a church, Sunday school, and day school, up until its demolition in 1905, when it was replaced by the timber hall we see today. In 1857, the Reverend John Herbert Gregory, vicar of All Saints St. Kilda, held a monthly service in the brick multi-use school building. On other Sundays, the services were taken by lay ministers Mr. Guillaume and Mr. Mudge. In 1860, under Gregory's leadership, plans were made for the erection of a new standalone church. On July 5, 1864, the foundation stone was laid by Sir Charles Darling, the governor of the then colony of Victoria. Dandenong was in high spirits for the event, with floral arches and bunting floating over every house. A copy of the Argus newspaper of the day, documents listing church trustees, and customary coins were buried underneath the foundations of the church, as per the Anglican church customs at that time. Anglican church diocesan architect Leonard Terry drew up plans and specifications. The Argus newspaper advertised tenders for the construction of the building on 13th of June that same year. On the New Year's holiday, January 2nd, 1865, Melbourne's first bishop, Charles Perry, opened the church for worship. At this point, the church consisted of only the nave section and was described in the Argus as built in excellent style, reflecting the equal credit on the architect and the contractors. And from the commanding position which it occupies is a great ornament to the town. In 1868, the building of the vicarage for the resident priest Reverend C. L. H. Rupp commenced, which was completed in the mid-1880s, along with the other remaining sections of the church building. Memorials and gifts from the congregation grace the building, in memory of past members of the congregation or to mark anniversaries. The present altar and panelling were installed in memory of the men who fell during the First World War. Today, this landmark building houses a vibrant, engaged, and diverse modern Anglican congregation. Over the last 150 years, the church has continued to serve the local Dandenong community through regular weekly services, weddings, baptisms, pastoral care, and funerals. These are also now accompanied by community services such as language and literacy classes and Monday meal services where between 60 to 80 people are served a two-course meal each week. It is certain the church will continue to serve the Dandenong community's needs well into the future. We hope you enjoyed this short snippet of history about Greater Dandenong. This project has been put together with the support of Dandenong and District and Springvale and District Historical Societies. Without their significant collections and expertise, projects like this would not be possible. City of Greater Dandenong gratefully acknowledges the support of the Victorian Government and Public Record Office Victoria for making this project possible.
We thank the following contributors to the We Built This City Heritage Interpretation Project.